G'day and welcome to Up the Wednesday. I'm George Truman from Northwest Local Land Services and today I'm here in Summerton with Lana Andrews and Zach Hemmings. G'day George, uh, it's Lana Andrews here. I'm the Regional Agriculture Land Care Facilitator for the Northwest and today we are working with the Dung Beetle Ecosystem Engineers Project, uh, people from UNE and CSU, and taking people through a monitoring process uh, with the Dung Beetle Project. So in the Northwest, we've had 31 landholders express interest in monitoring dung beetles over the next 12 months. With the drought and bushfires, obviously dung beetle activity has declined significantly and this project will hopefully give us an idea of what type of species and distribution there is in the northwest and hopefully reintroduce species where we have gaps. Myself and Anne Coote as Regional Agriculture Land Care Facilitators are in partnership with UNE to deliver this project. We're involved in the community engagement arm of the project and are supporting UNE and CSU in engaging landholders and supporting them in participating in this project. So we're here with Dr Zach Hemmings from the University of New England. Zach's a researcher with the Dung Beetle Ecosystem Engineer Project and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the project and also dung beetles uh, in the northwest. Thanks, Lana. Um, so the Dung Beetle Ecosystem Engineers Project, it's got a, a few key things we're trying to do. So first of all, we're trying to introduce three new species of dung beetle to Australia. Um, There's to fill some of the seasonal gaps, such as winter, where, sorry, these flies, uh, where dung beetles aren't active or we're not seeing very much activity. Um, we're going to be quantifying the ecosystem benefits or the uh, financial benefits that these beetles provide. So by consuming the dung and, dung and burying the dung, they put nu uh, nutrients into the soil, um, increasing pasture growth, you know, increasing water inf infiltration by digging holes. Um, and we're also doing this monitoring program that Lana mentioned. So the point of the monitoring program is to be able to identify when and where the species that we've introduced in the past 50 years, so there's about 23 species of dung beetle that were previously introduced, when and where they're active across Southern Australia and what gaps there are that we can fill with these new species and potentially more future, uh, more species down the line. Um, so what we've asked some very kind farmers to do and other participants is to do monthly monitoring of dung beetles using a, a protocol we've developed. Uh, it's a fairly simple protocol. Um, you just set out a little plastic tray that we give you and you put a bag of dung on top and the dung beetles fly to it and you collect it the next day. Um, so at the moment we're looking at maybe four or five species active in the region based off some monitoring we did last week up around Moree um, and we're hoping to find many more so so this is a, a collection of beetles that we've collected from up around Armadale, uh, the northern river, rivers around Kyogle and down around Tamworth so there's about seven or eight species of introduced beetle here um, and four to five species of native beetle um, so we do actually have native dung beetles they just don't tend to eat the cow dung or bury the cow dung. Um, so these guys were collected before the drought and since the drought we've noticed a lot less activity. So we're sort of hoping to get an idea of how the populations are going post drought and post destocking now that people are starting to get their, their cattle back, their stock back um, and see if there are any species that used to be in the area, used to be quite abundant but they've sort of died off or, or they're not as abundant as they used to be and we might be able to help replenish the numbers. Mm -hmm.